Hi there. This is Brian Nydeen from the University of Mary. And uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating the, uh, the saxophone uh, etude and uh, audition material uh, for North Dakota Allstate this year. Uh, just like to say a couple of things about uh, this etude. There's uh, just some tricky things in here with the grace notes and how to do those. Um, so I want to just take a look at a couple of things. Um, your fourth measure, I'm sorry, fifth measure in, um, fifth full measure from the beginning, um, you have a D grace note to a C, and the best way to do that, and you've got, this is the measure I'm talking about, coming into it. Uh, so, the best way to grace a uh, D going to a C is finger C, and just flick your middle palm key. That's, keep, make sure to keep the C down. That's the best way to do it, because uh, uh, it's really hard to do. Doing the long D to the C, it's just too many fingers. Um, switching out, moving back and forth. Uh, it's not smooth, it's hard to match the sound. Uh, now the next measure, the second line, is uh, you're gracing the, the B, your middle B, coming from C. So that one, you want to make sure you use side C. Oh. So this middle palm key, or middle side key, Side C, um, if you're not familiar with that, it's the key right up from from uh, the side B flat, and uh, that's the best way to do that second grace note. And the third one is just a regular um, B to A. You know, there's no special way to do that. Uh, so those three measures would sound like this with those fingers. keep in mind. Um, uh, the rest of it's pretty straightforward. I would say the biggest thing is just making sure that you're, uh, <clears throat> you know, keeping a steady pulse, obviously, but uh, by far the most important aspect of this etude um, is the staccato clanging style. So you want to make sure that's nice and short and crisp uh, and you've got enough air behind it um, so it really speaks clearly. <laughs> You know, that's a nice um, characteristic staccato, and that's that's the kind of sound um, that we're looking for on this in this style. Um, also, you've got some um, pretty significant dynamic changes. Again, that that part with the grace notes that I they was talking about right at the beginning um, that comes down. So. Right after where I just finished, where I played. You know, got to come way down there and then bring it back up. And then that last part, uh, you know, coming into the fine, uh, you want to, coming down from that high D, just a nice, even diminuendo. And after that, a little fermata there, and the uh, the double bar, you know, the last section, right back up to that big full volume, and nice crisp, crisp tonguing style. things to be aware of. Uh, I'll play the whole thing now all, all the way through.